Dear, dear. I'm going to wait till I'm online. For some reason, he doesn't want to look, put me online. Ah, I'm online. That's good. Um, how is everybody? Wait for people to come on. I'm just watching blacked out here, Mox. Hope in my chat works again today. Keep going to look at the camera and not the screen because I can see I can see myself on the streaming screen, but then I can see myself as you all see me at that time. So I'm watching the blacked out Ewoks and that's a full full blast. The volume's full blast. He just put a video up. Um, okay, so that's your Luke Bespin orange haired. I just can't hear what he's saying. The Lily Lede. Uh, Lily Lede. The, the volume's just so, so low. I don't know why it's, his volume is so low. Very nice figure. Alright, cheers, goodbye. Cheers, goodbye. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, be a good channel. So it's, it, it's got some really good stuff, but uh, needs to turn that bloody audio up. Anyway, how it how is everybody today? I'm feeling shocking today. Actually, I feel I feel worse than having a couple of days to be honest. With you, but uh, just I don't know why why the lighting's. Totally different. I don't know why. Um, uh, just say hello in, your, in the chat if you will. So make sure my chat is working. And then uh, we can get started. Get a few people and we can get started. It was, last night I just didn't want to stop because we'll get I'd more and more people joining on. And uh, we're having a good conversation. About... Uh, about other channels and the reason why some people go to these channels and we know why that is but um, there's no reason for them to do things like that no reason at all uh, it kind of puts me off to be honest with you I can hear the music from downstairs if you can hear if, if you can hear a dog Back in, it's downstairs. Dog has been outside, and now his music's blowing out. And he's he's not usually like this. <sighs> For some reason, I don't know why he is. Um, my power, I had a power cut today, so uh, I wasn't very happy. I didn't know that would be the worst thing, worst situation ever to happen. He's getting a power cut. I don't know. What, I don't know what I'd do to be honest. With you. Mention my my iPad and my phone. Obviously, run. I've got data, so I'd have been all right. <laughs> I think, hopefully. So yeah, um, just type in. I might have to type in myself if you, because I just want to make sure my uh, my chat is actually working after that first attempt. Well, I'm going to type something anyway, and just because because it's uh, you and McGregor's. Birthday today. Right. Um, I've not got a notification through, as per usual. So I don't think we're going to get anybody on just yet. So Star Wars has uploaded it. That's what cool. gets me about. The Star Wars channel. They're putting on, on Clone War spoilers. And we yet to to get to that that point. We've only got the first four. 
So they're putting spoilers up. So I'm, just, I'm having to avoid this, the Star Wars channel because of that. Uh, yeah, I was going to... Um, Shared it out because for some reason it's not shared out again. Hope it's a second. Sorry for if you want to ask me any, any questions, that's uh. I'm here for, that's what I'm here for, to answer Tell you like questions, questions about the podcast, um, my collection. Blue Harvest Towers. Getting quite good interaction with my, um, with my um, videos. So that's good, it's a good start. It's encouraging, put it that way. <coughs> yeah, I'm trying to get uh, as many videos out. Hi, right, John. Nice to see you. I haven't been on for a couple of days, have you? Yeah, and, um, I'm just saying, mate, I feel a lot worse today. I uh, I went on the NHS 111 online and it says, call an ambulance. <laughs> so it sounds like I'm, I'm, I haven't got the symptoms. But I'm not going to, I'm not going to, Take it up an ambulance, take up a hospital bed. I've got the symptoms. I, I feel terrible. Uh, I've got the chest, the cough, and things like that. But I'm by myself, just self isolating. I've got plenty of food in for now, anyway. So I'm just going to try and ride it out again. I've had it for about four weeks now. It was going away, and now it's come back again. A uh, crazy day a couple of days ago yesterday I missed uh, the time. Yeah you're here now anyway. That's uh, that's the main thing. Oh I've just seen your uh, new video today. I've just been we were talking yesterday about YouTube channels and we were talking about yours and how good yours is. And it's funny that um I was mentioning it when the guy was typing. He was typing your 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 uh, channel as well. So it was just giving me a lot of channels to to uh, to start watching, which I've I've got them on now. I've just I just we we're on about the Black Tower Ewoks. Um, he's been on thirteen years. He just put one up now, eight minutes ago, and I'll put it on. Full. Vo I've got like I put it up to twenty on the volume, twenty one on the volume. I mean, I w I've tried to reach out to him. Orange haired Luke You watch me adventure set one. They are really neat. Are, um, they're in my cabinet now. I've put them at the bottom of my cabinet. I want to get them fixed up. I mean, can you? He, he can't hear that. He's, he's showing off a orange hair best bin look graded. Yesterday, he was showing off his, his looks and he had a double telescope in look graded and he just like brushed over it and just so what I've said what I've said to him is what I put in the comments I said would love would love a DT Sabre Luke and uh, I said why don't you just do a video on that because that would get so many so many likes so many so many views but he he didn't even put it in in his um, in his um, title. If you put it in his title, how many views would you get? I don't know. I don't know. Um, as I say, he's been on for thirteen years, and uh, he's not grown. He's getting 
it's, I think he's getting a, f a few more views than I am, but not that many. Since I, am, I haven't even been on a year yet, and he's been on for 13 years, and he's, uh, I mean, his older videos have got like thousands and thousands of views, but he's not moved on from that. And what we was on about yesterday is um, the certain channels that get viewers for certain things, like Bella's toy chest. We're having a good laugh about Bella's, Bella's toy chest and saying, why, why do people watch that? Well, I, I've, I'm subscribed to it because of the toys, obviously. Nothing else, nothing else. But one, somebody said uh, in the... Oh, I, I, uh, Universal Collector, yeah. Somebody said in the chat yesterday um, that she knows sod all about the toys, which she doesn't. Uh, what scares me is that bloody big knife she's got when she's opening packages. I'm thinking, first of all, your own, own health and safety, Stop! You, you might chop your bloody fingers off. But second, the packages, just be careful with them. Oh. Yeah, hey dear. Right, uh, Universe Collector, I've um, subscribed to your channel. I've not had a lot of time today to look into a lot of channels. I've been doing, uh, I did my um, thingy video, Adventure 2000. You watch this collector's hut. I think I put that on yesterday. Uh, I've put that money on now. Collector, so yeah, I think I put it on. I don't know if I took it off. Yeah, I, took, uh, I put it off. And I, I put it on. I, don't, I took it off. I don't know. There must have been a reason I took it off. I'll check it out again. Is it um a recent one? I think he's just got like a lot of stuff that I'm not that into. There was some reason. I think it. I think it was the first one that I went to that was I was looking through, and um, I was yeah because I remember doing this putting this into me yesterday. Collectors are yeah because um, you don't. There's not a finite amount of channels you can subscribe. You can subscribe as many as you want, can't you? So yeah. It's just sometimes you're waiting for content to come up. Like, I just live on YouTube. And I hardly watch TV whatsoever, so I just... What I do is... I go to bed. Collectors up. I think... No, I don't... Why did I... No, I might be a different one. I'm subscribed to it, yeah. Yeah. I probably haven't, I haven't got to it yet. That's probably what it is. So, yeah, it looks really, really good. And it's just a thing... Like I say, I've been that busy... I just haven't got to it yet. UK Toy Collector. I'm subscribed, subscribed to him. Yeah, yeah, I haven't put anything on for ages. Yak Face. Subscribe to Yak Face. They don't put alt on anymore. Dark Layer. No, that's not that kind of thing. Um, so, yeah. I've uh, subscribed to a lot of new channels. And when I go to bed, all I do is I put the... Um, I put the YouTube on and that's all I watch. Collectors up. Laura's Legends, yeah. Laura's Legends. Sham just is pretty, yeah. Got him. Michael Mercer, don't know. Analog Toys, yeah. He's alright. Um, he, uh, he did the thing about Repro a few months back, which I put a long, a long message on his comments saying he never commented on it. Um and really having a go at people that don't like re re uh, repro, so yeah, that got me go a bit. Uh, saying that we're the relatist, because we don't have repro, we're relatist, so yeah, got me go a bit, but never mind. <laughs> do you watch Toy Poloi? Yes, I do. Um, I don't agree with everything they do, but. They're there for us. That's something I want to do. I want to do repair videos. I did one the other day on the uh, GI Joe, but obviously that's just an easy fix. Is GI Joe, but um, yeah, I want to do fixing videos. So if you've got anything that needs fixing, 
send it over to me. I just want to learn how to fix. I know, I know quite a bit about learn, um, about fixing things because when I had my shop, I was, I used to do that. I used to uh, get things for people that were. Uh, an old guy had loads of dinky cars and he wanted some tires, so I, I ordered him some tires and I fitted all the tires up for him and he, he loved it. So he keep, I'm, I, I sometimes bump into him and he mentions it every time. So, <laughs> so yeah, I love doing things like that. But I mean, this is what my channel is, is about: is helping people. I want to value stuff for people. I want to help identify things, uh, get get the th things that people want. I mean, the things that I need. There's loads of things that I need, but I want to help people who want to uh, collect, basically. Chris runs the Collectors Hut channel. He's from Boston. Met me oh, celebration online. Did you really? Wow. Do you watch Toy Boy? Yeah. Um, I know he's not liked on a lot of vintage Facebook. Yeah, for, for obvious reasons. I do watch him. I don't agree with everything he does, but I do watch him. This gave me the idea of uh, having the collection in the, in the background because it really works well for him. Yeah, my collection's over there. <laughs> so really, I mean, I've got this long table here. I am after, I'm after getting a desk. Because I've got this big space here, I'm gonna have to get in a desk, and I might put the the Mac on there, and then do the thing with the collection in background. I mean, I've got my Bachelor of the Future poster. I've got a bit of collection here. That's why I brought I brought a bit. I bring a bit over every every day. I've um, got my Princess Leia. My Vader used to be there. That solved him. But I've got a cardboard cut out of Princess Leia. The stood the stu here. Um, yeah. So essentially, I I need to get a desk and get it over there and, and you can see my collection then from when I'm doing these live streams because I, I won't be doing them every day uh, after this is sorted out I don't think I'll, I might do them a couple of times a week I don't. I enjoy it though I enjoy it like I said before I want to do uh, like a Star Wars toy news video every day uh, like I did I used to do the daily podcast every day but I've gone down to weekly on the podcast and that costs me money uh, I'd have to up my data if I was going to go on uh, daily. So what I'm going to do is going to do it on YouTube because it, cause it's free. Oh, again, a lot, a lot of um, a lot of messages this time. I'm not used to this. Uh, kiss, yeah, kiss. Uh, Analog toys would start doing loads of action force yeah i've just got a few action force I'm, I'm that's what i'm after i'm after getting some action force gi joe all different lines i just want a lot of different lines i'm sticking to me star wars obviously because that's what i am star wars but um i want to learn about different lines i want to get loads of different lines in buy different different lines i was looking at i was looking at youtube and youtube ebay till about three four this morning and uh just looking at stuff like the Star Trek, the Star Trek card figures, loads of them for very very cheap. So I'm going to get a few of those. I've ordered a few things, and uh, I'll tell you about what I got today as well. All these videos are showing in front of his collection. Yeah, I need I need to do that. Junk man, yeah, yeah. We mentioned Junk man yesterday. I'm hoping he might have popped on because I uh, sent him a message. Uh, nah, I don't know. Hey, you watched Star Wars Explained with Alex and Molly. These guys are friends also. Oh, really? I'll have to check that out as well. Hi, hey, Star Creations. Just talking about you. <laughs> How you doing? And I just now subbed to Universal Collector. Yeah, well, that's what, that's what this is about. Helping each other out. We're all at a low level. We're all at different low levels, I suppose, and we just here to help each other out, basically. We're all in this uh, collecting toy collecting business together. Well, not business, but you know what I mean. So we just need to help each other out. That's what I want to do. That's why I'm here. I want to help people. I want to help myself, of course. I want to get new toys. I like. I love getting new toys every day. Um, but uh, yeah, I like learning. That's that's the thing. I'm a so-called Star Wars toy expert, apparently, the media have said, um, and that is my job. But 
I'm a collector, firstly. Used to be a dealer, and I'm a collector, and that's what I am now. Ah, uh, yeah. Well done, John. I saw Star Creation 64. Well, you've got eight now. <laughs> Uh, collection room is too dark to film. Oh, time to protect collection. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm scared of. I've got my hat out and the legs are yellow. And if it, if I keep it out much longer, those legs are going to go yellow. Um, so, Star Creation, you were on about that today. You messaged me about um, getting your figures white. The plastic won't go white. It may go white for... If you bleach it or peroxide it, it'll go white for so long, then it'll go back yellow again. So don't even bother. It's just have them, have them as they are. They're played with. That's why. That's why I think. Meeting Kenner Alien soon. Oh, nice. They're expensive. Not a lot of them though, is there? You've got a vehicle coming. I saw a video. Um, Yesterday, I think it was, at yeah, the shop, and they had an alien creature in there, an alien vehicle in there. Yeah. So they're ex they're expensive those. I want to do a video of it when it comes. Oh, I can't wait to see that. Yeah, we are all in this together. All for one, all for all. <laughs> yeah, that's true. So. Uh, Landlord alien stuff for that's in Smiths. Have you got Smiths in America, John? Um, the, the Irish toy. It's the only big toy place that we've got now, and they're not very good. I'm a little both. I collect a lot, but normally I hit up a lot of the thrift stores. <laughs> Yeah, probably best place. And though the, the charity, the we call charity charity stores over here. You come three stores. They start to take away the stuff that's worth a bit and keep it for themselves, which is not good. It's supposed to be for charity, but uh, there you go. Discount stores, yeah, we've got a few of those. Especially in Mal, we've got a few of those. <laughs> so yeah, this is, um, there's not been a lot in those because the entertainer is a toy shop in this country that uh, has been taking a lot of the stock and um, the vary the prices the, the vintage collection when they first started putting them out were £5.50 now they've gone up to £9 and even more sometimes the, the, the price goes up and down on those one stopper of mine is pretty white and the other one I've seen I've seen on the video that you'd uh, you stomped up in yellow don't worry about it don't worry about it just, um, I mean, you could, I said peroxide it, but the, the the plastic can be very brittle after you've used that. Uh, it can disintegrate. Certain kinds of plastic, it disintegrates. I saw a picture of uh, somebody's Imperial shuttle that was just totally melted after they tried to white in it. And you can, you can imagine how much those are worth. So it's totally destroyed. So yeah, just be careful. It's not, it's not for me, it's not worth it. Ooh, I'm getting the song when he, um... Aliens. I think you're talking between yourselves. <laughs> yeah, well, that's okay. That's fine. That's that's what it's about. I could do with getting... I don't know how, how to do it, but getting a few people on. Um, uh, John, do you know how to do that? Would you know how to do get a few people on and we can all start talking to each other as opposed to typing it's alright for me because I can talk but if we can get other people on as well and um, we can all have a really good conversation so that would be good that would be really good Yeah, that's my thinking on subscribers. If all these small bloggers help each other out, we should. We all. I mean, that's why I'm doing this because I want to get all all those little little guys, not to gang up on the big guys, no, um, to get noticed as well. They, if the big guys help us out by sharing us out 
just getting a few. We're not going to steal their their uh, subscribers, are they? They're going to subscribe to them first and then think, oh, well, that's a similar type of thing. We'll subscribe to them as well. Because at the moment, people are out at home running about, running up walls, trying to find things to watch. That is one of the reasons I'm doing this. I was going to do it once or twice a week, but I've been doing it every night now since Saturday. So I'm going to be doing it every night for the for for foreseeable future at around about the same time. Oh yeah, me. Uh, I was going to talk about the last seventeen, but I realised I've only got two of them, and I talked about Arto the other day. So yeah, um, I just thought I'd uh, put them up there. I just pick a few random um, figures out to talk about because usually I've only got a few people that are watching, so. I, I talk most of the time and I talk about different things, my black series, because um, I collect black series and vintage, and mostly just stuff I like really. And Star Creations, I don't even know your name, what's your name? What's your name? I mean, we've been talking, <laughs> I still don't know your name. I can't call you Star Creations all the time, can I? You're trying to post a video every day too, yeah. It's good, it's good, that's what you need to do. Um, Sharing, sharing stuff out well and good um, but you've got to have the content on there for people to subscribe to and um, yeah it's that creations there is the uh, rifle that you need for Bosk you were on about him yesterday and you're asking about the rifle and that is can you see that uh, you can see that Get it out of his, uh, out of his hand. I can see that. There you go. That's a very specific rifle that Bosk has. Um, yeah, I was going to talk about the last seventeen. So I've got Anakin. I've only got my pop up and Anakin. I'm working towards it. I did that before, and when I collected before, I worked towards it, and I realised that it's really expensive. I'm going to do the same again. I've got the first twenty-one now. No, I am. I've got the I've got the first twelve start start with complete. Now I'm working twenty-one. I need Greedo and Snaggletooth, and a couple of blasters, and that's all I need for the first twenty-one. I've got a lot of the Empire. I've got a lot of the uh, Return of the Jedi line, but um, I get I get him when they're cheap. Basically, that's what that's what collecting is about. It's about getting it them as cheap as you can. Um, not necessarily necessarily beaters, but when you can see them cheap, get it. But don't don't overstretch your your budget. That's basically it. Just be patient and enjoy. It's a hobby at the end of the end of the day. Oh, excuse me. It, yeah, it's a hobby at the end of the day. Just yeah, to enjoy it. Is it Zoom app? Zoom app for um I know I can do it I know how to do it on Skype for my podcast, I just don't know how. I'll have to look into it and if if, if you're up for it, a few people to come on. And uh, I can host like a video chat type thing. And it just might help people out. That's all I'm thinking. Do, they co do we consider them the last 17? Yes, we consider them the last 17. You only, you only hear it from people in the States? I thought it was the other way around. Because they've got, they got them first through the last 17. But in the UK, you guys got the Ewoks. Then the last 14 or so. No, we got... I thought it was the other way around. I thought you got the Ewoks in the Return of the Jedi line. And um, we got the last 17. But we got the act first, you didn't get the act first. So I, th I didn't think you would call it the last seven. I thought we were just us. It's, confu <laughs> it's confusing, I know. Um, yeah, it's something I'm, I'm going to have to look into. It's something I want to talk about with the last 17. Um, why they are so expensive, apart from Anakin, of course. <laughs> I know they didn't make as many of them. That's probably what it is. Return of the Jedi figures they made millions of, but the last seventeen they weren't 
as many obviously and they all got thrown in the trash and in the land, landfill in uh, Leicestershire that I've been trying to find I wish I wrote an article on actually you only have one greedo yourself it's a, I tell you what it's a, it's quite hard to find a greedo complete I've been looking today on on, on eBay and um, they're all repro weapons. I don't get me started on eBay because I, I reported two, uh, <laughs> two things last night. Um, baby odors. They show you the anim animatronic baby odor. And then the ne next picture, it's like a soft toy that's totally terrible. And there were two listings. There were about five or six listings. And they're from China. So I reported both of them. And the second one, I put a comment. I see China's open for business again then. And they're still up. They haven't taken it down. So what I'm thinking about doing is reporting it to Disney on Twitter. Because they seem to get it taken down straight away. Because they won't be happy about that. I'm not happy because I'm not buying anything from China. Everything's reproduction. Everything. It's not because of this virus. It's, it's because of the, everything's just knock off from China and you can't trust anything especially electronics don't buy any any electronics from China They'll blow up yeah Greedo it's just hard to find Stangletill's easy but it's just the Greedo I need I don't know the last last Greedo I ever bought was a PBP one with scarred out CO. Uh, I think I wore it for about twelve pounds, so I chuffed. <laughs> so creations, I had one. I don't know where it went. I hate myself to keep it. Everything. I keep everything organised. Oh no! You'll find it. You might find it one of these days. You'll be looking for something else, and then you'll find it. You might be coming to a large collection soon. Oh, keep me in the loop, John. Keep me in the loop. Here's a very case with 30 figures. And the weapons and capes. Oh. You give him an uh, offer and waiting to hear back. I always check that uh, weapon pouch. <laughs> the first thing I'd look at is that weapon pouch. Get that. Don't mind the figures. That All those weapons. Those weapons are more important than the figures. You don't even have a Vader yet. I've got a spare one. With the with the lightsaber with tip on. But it is on my Dagobah playset. So I don't know if I want to give him up. To be honest with you. Maybe it's the other way around. I always call them last 17. But I've been correct by people. recently saying it's the last 14. Yeah. it's. I think in America it is the last 14. Because the two Ewoks came out in the Jedi line and you never got the act face. So I thought it was last 15. But I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Alright. <laughs> I'm going to have to write your names down. Because <laughs> I'm useless with names. Matt. John, John, I know. I've known him for a while. Um, I've nearly eaten those sweets, John, so I need some more. <laughs> I'm only joking. I'm only joking. <laughs> I know it costs you a fortune. Um, oh, I've put gift on that. <laughs> oh, dear. Did you see that? Uh, is it Toy Poloi? Or is it Analog Toys? They put a video on yesterday about... Um, Degrading of figures, figures dying and things like that. Are you worried about that? Are you worried? I'm not worried about that at all. Figures are getting sticky and the plastic's melting. <sighs> this figures are 40 year old. All I'm worried about, that's why I don't collect carded figures, is because the glue on the bubbles is going to fall off very soon. So that's why, that's why I want people to look after the the figures I looked at an auction site 
auction house um, on Twitter and they had uh, a box full of carded figures. There was Star Trek, there was some Star Wars. And I said, get those out of that box and take, treat them with a bit more respect. And they were having a joke about it and somebody was saying, oh, I'll just open them up, nobody would notice. I thought, oh my God. And then she backtracked then and she says, oh, we take it very seriously. I thought, oh, I bet you do. So yeah, I just uh, hate things like that. So is it really reproof the same mould and plastic? The China ones are actually made in the same factory, even... They just skim off the top. Yeah, the thing with, with, with Chinese factories is um, they are legitimate most of the time. It's like the Lego, they are legitimate, but they work at night as well and do the same things and sell them themselves. It's weird. I think they've do, I think they stopped it with Lego though. I think the Chinese government actually. I think Lego got the Chinese government to stop it. I know it's done with the NFL shirts. Because I've, uh, I've had a few myself. So yeah. Hmm. It's just you can tell. Uh, just check the comments on people that have bought things off these. Uh, these Chinese people. I mostly just says knock off, <laughs> avoid. <laughs> Who's that, John? Who's uh, in the condo community? Ah, I missed that one. Oh, the guy with the the Vader. Did you see the video today? I'm, I I don't know how I got it. A guy who paid seven thousand pound for a um, a lockup, and there was thousands of figures in there, all all carded and everything. Not I don't think there were any Star Wars, well many Star Wars anyway. Not not vintage, just modern ones I think. But that was uh, a nice video to watch. You can't probably got it. <laughs> right, I'm gonna to have to catch up with these um this chat. Just keep looking, it might be down to the back of the sofa or anything like that, I don't mind. In the in the vacuum cleaner. Check the vacuum cleaner. They get the word that I buy collections or so someone here told me I had a Star Wars set in various case, so I made her offer right. Oh. I have a loves Greedo, what a spare? You got a spare Greedo? Because I that's what I need. I need a Greedo and a um snag. A blue one would be nice. No, I just want a red one. For now. <laughs> I'll probably get a blue one when I'm rich. Hey. I've never been, I've never been touched one. Never been in touch. I mean, I've, I've, I've seen vinyl cape jowls and things like that, but not the uh, blue snaggle tooth. Weird. I've seen, I've, I think I've seen one, but I've not, never held one. You really do need acrylic cases for my card. You do. You do. You have issues on the prices of the cases. Um, GW Acrylic, I don't know if they go do it in America, but Ian Sanderson. Uh, do you know about Ian, do you know Ian Sanderson? Um, he does the acrylic. He used to work for GW over here, then he moved over to America. I don't know if he does the cases. I know he does the stands for the vehicles. But I imagine he does the cases as well. Um, so yeah, GW, I mean, that's that's a GW case. Just done it. That's beautiful. I've got these at Celebration. The... Um, the black series so yeah GW is the way to go especially with carded figures uh, they are quite expensive though yeah I agree with that I could do with the couple of cases for me speeder bikes but uh, I think they're about 25 quid each so yeah I'd rather buy uh, <laughs> some more figures 
to be honest with you. Candle and acrylic case costing fifteen to twenty dollars each. Yeah, I know it is quite expensive, but the acrylic's quite expensive, so and it does protect. If you've got a very special figure that you you know that you you want to keep and you don't want it to ever get down, you you've got your cases though, so it's not too bad. But uh, yeah, if you've got like really expensive figures, you want to get them in cases. You buy yeah, yeah, Matt, you do you do buy GW yeah. I think we all do though. I did try and get some free ovens off him. I got one um, when Jamie Brown um, worked for him. Um, gone down at Echo Live. I got one to review for the podcast. It was uh, the one that um, you can put the card in and the loose figure. And they are brilliant. They, are br- they just make it look like it's a card and figure. It's really good. I put them 3PO in that one. So, yeah. GWO is the way to go. You know GWO? Yeah. If you go on Amazon, there are some that I think are fakes. I don't know though. But it seems weird looking, seems fake. You can't really get fake cases, can you? I mean, the star cases, I don't like the star cases at all. I think they're. I'm not going to say crap because they're not crap, but. It's more or less not. not you don't bother having, having them in cases at all. Sorry, but bloody, I'm getting messages. Not figure case, what do you mean? What do you mean? What are you meaning? What are you meaning? Uh, yeah, I brought a couple of... Uh, I was talking about that last night. I'm going to reveal, I think. It's very so. Let's see that. The deluxe. Is it? I don't, I don't know if it's deluxe. I don't know if it's a deluxe. I think it's uh, just a... Uh, Explosive into see we don't get explosives we just I just get them as they come into Forbidden Planet um, Target Walmart whatever the, the explosives you you have over there we just get them given in well not given but I got that for my birthday so that was uh, it's pretty heavy as well it's heavy heavy figure so I do I don't I don't like to get them out of the box they see sealed but. For a v- review, I might have to, unfortunately. Horror. Oh, there's some fake figures on Amazon. Really? Get them reported. Recarded is this issue. Yeah, recards. <sighs> They're terrible. Resealed are okay if they're um, quite rare figures. I mean, you don't want to have a reseal of a Chief Chirper, <laughs> basically, do you? Or a Low Grey. So many Low Greys out there. So, yeah, you don't. Reseals are alright, but free cards just. There's a guy in Spain that does a lot on eBay. And, uh, no. Just doesn't look good at all. I mean, they, the only the only custom. I mean, customs. What do you think about customs? The only I'd say it's a custom I'd have is a Rocky Fine Boba Fett. Probably, I don't have one, but I've no real intention of getting one. But that's probably the only figure that I'd because I'm never going to have one. I'm never going to have one. Even even if I won millions on the lottery, I still. Want to spend hundred hundred thousand pound on one? Put it that way. I don't know. Depends how many millions I won. So now you know about recards and fakes and things like that. What about the retro collection? I've got them. I've got them. I love them. I want the Empire Strikes Back ones, but I don't like them. <laughs> I love them, but I don't like them. Uh, you know, I don't think they're a good idea. I think, I, and I do think they're a good idea. It's, I just don't know what I think about them. To be honest with you, I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> what do you think about Re- retro collection as um, being repro repro collection? 
Oh, dear. Oh, you think you're during cases? Yeah, I was... I had, um, not so long back, I think about July, August time, I, I bought a Palatoy Boba Fett. And I'd ordered the case long before I actually got the figure. And I had it two days and I wouldn't, I, I went out once and I just was panicking and I, I had to come home. And I wish I'd have kept it to be honest with you, but I sold it. I sold it. Within an hour of me putting it online, it was gone. The guy from came from Birmingham to pick it up. A Palatai Boba Fett Empire Strikes Back card. A Flip 45B. Something like that. <sighs> yeah, I wish I still had it. I wish I, I, wish I, I, had, I had a few carded and I just don't do carded. I decided not to do carded, I just want it loose. But that, uh, that part of the bubble fat, I'm not going to get one of them again, am I? <laughs> That's why I like finding one with an old price sticker on it. Yeah, I love the stickers, I love the price stickers. You know, it's real nice, some star stick. It has, it has, you guess it provenance, doesn't it? It's, um, you know where it was bought. Yeah. I love the price stickers and I hate it when people have taken them off and you see the residue and oh, it's damaged the card. Just leave the sticker on it. It is better with a sticker on. Even those old Woolworths 59 pence special off special price tickets they used to put on their speeder bikes, things like that. Yeah. Um, bit big, but yeah. Keep them on. Don't ever touch any, any anything on your boxes. People set, putting sellotape on things, like, oh. especially in charity shops. <sighs> what have you put sellotape on for? Oh, you know, Jeremy lives 15 minutes from you. Oh, put around his house to collect cases. Yeah, um, he got stiffed in he, apparently. They were telling me. I was. Um, I was very close to um, getting in on the bottom floor of GW, and um, but it was just having the. I had the collateral, but I just I didn't have the space. You needed a lockup for the amount of stock there that he had. So apparently, he got I don't know what the ins and outs. Are. He hadn't really told me. He just uh, it, 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 it pulled out because he wasn't happy. I don't know what he's doing now. Get all your black series from start action figures. I've never, never, never tried them. And from Bin Planet in Southampton, is it a big star that you have for Bin Planet? Well, that one in Leeds. Apparently, I was talking to them, and um, they're a franchise, and not actually anything to do with Forbidden Planet. But even though they're called Forbidden Planet, I just, I don't know, I don't know. Because I said, why, why is your, why are your prices different from ones that are online? They said that we're not to do with online. It's not they're not to do with online apparently. Even even though they're called the same, they're not the same company. I don't know. It might have been bullshit. I don't know. <laughs> I've heard of Forbidden Planet. Wonder if that's the one. Range of prices and all kind of stars. Yeah, they are crazy. KB, you need to. I told you, you need, you need to tell me about KB. We need to get on the podcast and talk about KB because we know nothing about KB. I didn't. The only, the first time I knew about KB is when I saw where uh, Junkman's T-shirt. <laughs> yeah. This is it Forbidden Planet in New York? Yeah, I think they're international, aren't they? Yeah. So yeah. So original Star Wars ranges from one dollars all the way up to five dollars. Per figure, back in the early eighties. Yeah, um, you might see my video where I go around my hometown of where I used to get used to get the figures and the market stall. I think, I think they started out at ninety five p, and then went up to one pound twelve. But if you went to Woolworths, 
they were a lot ex a lot more expensive and there was department stores where they were all different prices so I think they ranged I mean I can remember going up to one pound fifty and my mum saying oh you're not having one of them <laughs> but then that was a I think that is one of the reasons of nailing the coffin of me collecting them um, never even saw the well Power of the Force they would try logo for us but if Power of the Force for you never saw that line never I don't know why I don't know why this didn't register with me at all I was so big into collect collecting them I remember, I can even remember the guy uh, young lad and his mum coming to my house to pick up all my figures and uh, getting the money for them and buying it 18 figures yeah 18 figures um, I can also remember me and my friend playing in um, it was like a, a Masonic Lodge that I, I used to live in and it was like a, a gated area at the front it wasn't a garden or anything like that it was like a gated area me and my mate were just playing with, with these figures and these big big older lads from school from a school up the road came in said what are you doing uh, what are you playing with them you, 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 not geeks it's, I don't know what the, what the call is but, but they stole them they stole a few of my figures and then that just disarmed me because I'd, I'd been collecting them for so many years and then they'd just gone and I didn't, just didn't know what to do I was so helpless so yeah bad memories never mind Figure there might be a couple of forbidden planets out here. Yeah. You don't know KB Toys now? We didn't have it. We didn't have KB Toys. We had Woolworths. We didn't even have Toys at us till later on. We had Jolly Giant, which were a superstar in Leeds. Um, and just department stores, basically. And market stalls. And uh, I think supermarkets bought, uh, sold them as well, but I, don't, I can't really, really remember selling, um, buying them in supermarkets. I didn't know. I didn't. Yeah, I never heard of KB. I need to. I need to know. I've looked up online. Uh, just quickly read through, but I'd like to hear from your perspective. Um, even I mean, if even John, if you want to do a little little recording for me, just to put on the podcast, that'd be nice. Or I could just read it out myself, but I'd rather somebody else read it in an American accent. <laughs> You distinctly remember going to KB and seeing all the three packs. Oh, wow. On sale for clearance. Oh, my God. Remember thinking that they're desperate to sell them. Mm. <laughs> and now we're desperate to buy them. You wish you'd set the bottom half. Yeah. Yeah, don't we all? You don't remember it because you were four. Oh, don't rub it in. <laughs> Us old guys. <laughs> you had Woolworths. I know you had Woolworths, but it's probably, I don't know if it was the same company as, as, as our Woolworths, because there were different Woolworths all over the world. I mean, Woolworths is still operating in Australia, or New Zealand or somewhere. Um, I know when I used to go to Cyprus, there was a Woolworths there when I first started going. And it shut down and turned into Debenhams. And then got bought out. Arden, not on a Sears, obviously, JC Penney's from Back to the Future. Child World, no. Circus World, no. Toys R Us, yeah. And KB Toys, no. Yeah, we're Myth Woolworths in the UK. We really do. Really do. It's 2007, was it, when they shut down? Phew. Um, I did my video, I mean, going to my own town, and uh, I go to the place where Woolworths was. And I say I wish I could go into their storeroom and into their loft and look through the empty boxes. There must be some something up there. There must be. I recently went to um, Colville in Leicester where uh, Palatoy is. And looking at their Woolworths there, because you can always tell, whichever town you go to, you can always tell where the Woolworths is. I used to play that game, guess the Woolworths. Every town you know where the Woolworths used to be. And uh, 
I was thinking I kind of wish I could go in there up, up there and see what their store room looks like but I was thinking every every shop every house in Colville in that near Palachai there must be something there must be p- prototypes all sorts of stuff there I suppose it would be like Cincinnati we can uh, for you for in America um, but I spent the day in Palachai in the Palachai factory <laughs> best day of my life oh beautiful. meeting all the ex-employees and um, the, the, the designers and things like the only thing is Bob Breakin wasn't there the guy who the action man hand is based on he wasn't there unfortunately so I didn't shake the hand of uh, the hand of Bob they call him but I did I was doing uh, valuation toy valuations and everybody that was coming in you was like an ex employee I apologise and this guy brought in his uh, contract apologise contract and all his weight slips and all the 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 uh, receipts from all the stuff he bought from the apologise shop like Star Wars figures like 20p and things like that I'm thinking oh my god unbelievable what a really good day that was going on a toy run in the UK has died now yeah hate buying I'm like yeah you're you right I mean I go into Leeds when, when, when I can and there's uh, Forbidden Planet Entertainer that's it that's it it's unbelievable um, I've got a friend in in Jewsbury where uh, I did that video and and uh, Cosmic Toys and he's got no vintage in I actually give him some I actually give him some vintage to have some in but he's, he's an it's an excellent shop it's just oh I could spend hours in there it's just so many toys but I look at I look at these videos from people in America and these stores seem to be everywhere seem to be everywhere um, but the few and far between and I wanted to do I, a couple of years ago I wanted to do a guide on uh, these kind of shops in in the UK um, I talked about the shops in Blackpool there's like four in about 200 yards of each other um, there's Leicester Toy Shop there's the Calendar Museum um Farthest from guy in, um, I forgot the call of the shop down in Farden Bridge. All the good things, is it? Something like that, yeah. But yeah, it's uh, it's difficult finding vintage these days. You collect Marvel Legends too, yeah, 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 yeah. you got the four. You had Thor video, didn't you? Child World. What was Child World? I'm so familiar with a toy store. Was it like... I don't know, was it like Toys R Us or... Because we had uh, Mother Care, which did have toys as well. I remember when my son was uh, little, going into Mother Care, and there were lots of toys in there. But uh, um, I don't know. I don't know if they're still going. Mother cares, to be honest with you. On Amazon, the Marvel Legends and Black Series prices are dropping. I get emails and stuff like that goes down on price. I started getting notifications like crazy. The price is dropping on toys. Well, um, do videos on it. Okay. Do a vid- Why don't you just do a video a day on? Um, Price drops on what's 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 getting reduced. That'd be quite good. That that'd be quite interesting. I know a lot of people would, would like to see that. Um, the, have you seen the unusual Mike? He talks about the Black Series. Uh, it's become very popular. Um, that's the kind of thing I used to do on on my podcast uh, daily news and what's coming out, things like that. But it's gone to, I say, gone, gone weekly now. So, the latest Marvel Legends I have 
by Doctor Doom. Oh wow! The Punisher in Iron Man armor. I'd like to see that. Have you done the video on that one? I'd like to see that. Somebody did the. Well, I clicked on uh, this guy who was doing the Black Widow review, and he never reviewed it. He just talked talked about it, a bit and he didn't review it, and he says he's going to do it later. And I thought, oh god. I'd like a nice uh, Black Widow. Hot toys would be nice. Hot toys, but they're quite expensive, obviously. I've got just one one hot toy. Princess Leia. I love them. I'd, I'd, I'd like a Vader. Definitely like, like, definitely like Darth Vader. And, um, yeah, Black Widow. I think for like 300 quid. Chat takes links down. Yeah. Just send me on Twitter, mate. Yeah, just send me on Twitter, then, um... I can maybe do a... Maybe do a video on it? I don't... I, I don't know, cause Maybe you should do a video on it, John. Do a video on, on KB Toys. That would be excellent. Then I can seal the audio for my podcast. <laughs> So what guidebooks have we got? All the cool things, yeah. God, this chat, is this chat really slow, is it me? This bloody phone is going off the... Oh, I've gone live apparently. Eight minutes ago. So my notification has gone out a, a, an hour late. Unbelievable, YouTube. So yeah. <laughs> oh dear. We see chat before you do. I'm gonna. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and I'm gonna go to um, Google Chrome. I'm gonna pop out a chat on that because. This one I'm seeing here is absolutely atrocious. So you might hear my voice a couple of times, just for a minute. Oh, Neil's gonna, Neil's gonna, Neil's gonna, Neil's gonna go away, go away. All my notifications have come up. New subscribers. I've got 81, 81 now. Woohoo! My channel. Won't be a minute, won't be a minute, won't be a minute. I'll pause myself. Yeah, pause myself. Uh, where's my chat? <laughs> Pop out chat. And then I can close that down. That's better. Probably get it at the same time now. Um, let's see. Have you got a cabinet of guidebooks? Which books have you got? Which books have you got? I've just got. I've just picked a couple up. I I use that. I'd use that to death. I used to have it in shop. It's really good. Uh, it's because it's portable. I used to take it all over me. I mean the the prices on them is like two thousand and five. So you can double triple them from there. But it's got all the card backs in. It's like a mini Kellerman, really. I mean, I've got my Kellerman over there, but uh, I don't tend to uh, touch it much because <laughs> it's worth too much. But it goes up to... Yeah, it's got the 12-inch and it. Uh, it goes up to... Clone Wars 2004. So it's pretty good. It's got the like, every figure in it. And all the vehicles and play sets and things like that. So it's good. I mean, it gives you a general idea of the prices. And it gives you... A... It's, not, it's not bad. It's not bad. It was only a couple of pounds. So, yeah. Wasn't too bad at all. But this... Um, I had started collecting Mechanox. I love the square cards. Because I got one, 
in um, Boulogne on a school trip. Um, and I can't remember if it was square carded. I'm sure it was. I've been Kenobi. So I bought one recently. I bought one recently and um trying to find it. There you go. I bought one recently. And I took it to auction and I sold it. And I don't know why. I don't know why I did it. But I've got this signed by uh, Stephen Forcourt down at Celebration. That was uh, nice of him. But it's got all the Meccano figures in it. Got the big t Rebellion postcard in there as well. So yeah, I've got those, but um, as you know, I joined, um, I rejoined Facebook. And just in time to get the Echo Base second edition guide. Because I got the first edition years ago when it first came out. And I, I love it. I sure keep showing this, I know. But that's portable as well. That's easy to take anywhere. Just a backup, really. And just basically what it is, is sometimes I can't always remember which weapon goes for which and which colour. And it tells you the colour on each weapon and everything like that. And it's got uh, the variants in it as well. Got the Ewoks and the uh, droids, and it's got all the variants. So uh, that's nice. It's nice to have. They've got the Toy Tony in it, and all the licenses, licensees in the world, which is very good for me because uh, I like to talk about different. Uh, licenses around the world. I've talked about Meccano already. Um, I mean, there's a couple that I didn't know. and the Bassa, I didn't know. Uh, Brio, I, didn't, I know Brio, but I didn't know Brio Playmix or a distributor. Clipper, Barker, I was General Mills. Harbert, PBP, Poc, Palatoy, Takara. I'd like some Takara stuff. Tall Toys as well. I mean, Top Toys, it says manufactured 83 to 84. Um, but which one was it that um, was it what little laddie was it that went to 88 or oh, Glasslight wasn't it 88 Glasslight 88 to 90 Glasslight did um, did the figures very late on so yeah it's just nice to know about the, the licenses as well oh dear John Kellerman yeah a fantastic book, fantastic book. We don't have a palatine though, don't have enough palatine. Three books, these sound sweet. I've got two, got one signed. Screen to collectible, and I think I've, I think I've done videos on them. Yeah, you'll have to show me your books, John. GI Joe, oh, I'd like that. I would like that. I would like the GI Joe because, as I say, I want um, I want to know about all the different lines. I want to know about everything. Really, I want to I want to learn. I want to I want like Johnny Five on input Transformers. Yeah, I'd like to learn about Transformers. You ever have R Five D Four Sideshow? Oh man, that's so cool. You have 12 Lego guidebooks, yeah. Yeah, I, I started out, when I came back into collecting around 2012, 2013, I um, started collecting the Lego start at first. I thought, well, the figures have take up too much space, so if I start collecting the Lego, it won't take as Then I started getting the collector series, and <laughs> I got the Red 5 X-Wing, and... Um, slave one. I was just taking up too too much space. I actually went in when I got settlement off my first wife. I went to Lego to get the slave one. They didn't have it, so I ended up getting the Ghostbusters Firehouse, which was hundred pound more. 
and then a week later going back for the slave one. <laughs> so yeah, I was thinking today that um, I was actually looking on eBay for some Lego because it would pass me time and it'd be nice for a video. Uh, I'd like to do a building probably. I don't know. I was looking at different. I'd like the Death Star. I would like the Star Destroyer. I would love that Star Destroyer. I don't fancy paying £650 for it though. So I'm looking at something about £300 and there's nothing really. It's the, the Death Star maybe. Tantive 4. I was looking at some Hoth stuff for my uh, diorama. I've got my Hoth diorama down there. But I don't think there's much that can go into that. I think there's much space in it. You know about Lego, John. Which what? What's the best for me to buy at the moment? Hot Wheels. Ooh. How would I put a picture up on the screen? Um, you'd have to send it to me, and then I put it in through me studio mode. I don't know how I did that yesterday, but I did that. I'll, I'll put it to myself. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to work out how to do things. I need to work out how to get other people on a split screen. That'd be quite good. On my video, on your channel. What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? How would I put a picture up on the screen? of my video. You mean put a picture of your video up on my screen? You'd have to send you have to send it to me, I think. Or I'd have to download it and then put it on. You got that you got that Meccano book, yeah. It's fantastic is that. I'd like the other one the French touch is it? E-Man guy, that's another one I want a mask. Yeah, I want a mask. Oh, lend me all your mask, all your bloody guides. I could do it with a book that's just got all got all the figures in. That'd be nice. A book that has just the background of each of each toy line. That'd be nice. That's what, that's the kind of thing I'm trying to write at the moment. But the things that I grew up with. What I do is, I talk about myself a bit and when, how I play with them, why I play with them, when I got them, things like that, and then the history of that toy. That's each chapter. That's, uh, that's the kind of book I'm trying to do. I've got it all planned out and a lot of it's written. A lot of information together and uh, it's just a matter of typing it out, basically. Make your own books, yeah. Just make your own books. For it. That's what you should do, John. Write a book about each toy line. Well, not each toy line. A book that encompasses every toy line. Going from the 70s to the 80s to the 90s. How about that? <laughs> Just a little bit little bit of history about each toy. That would be excellent. Why don't you do it? That's what I'm doing. I'll beat you to it. No, no I won't because... Uh, I've been planning this for about a year. <laughs> maybe two, two years actually. Um, I mean, I'd, I've got I've got plenty of ideas. It's just uh, doing them. It's like the guidebook of uh, UK vintage toy shops. Oh, well, that close to actually doing it as well. Getting getting funding for it. Instead of the editor you use, you should be able to select a still image the same way you select a video and put it into the project or something like that. Yeah, you can import you can import still pictures into your uh, videos. Oh, what I get what you mean. How you put a picture in the screen of your video on your channel. What I do, um, I tell you, I've got iMovie. Uh, you just put it on top 
of your your video and then you just go into the settings and it'll say picture in picture the different ways you can do it it'll say picture in picture and you just do it like that, like that. and you can just move it about from there and it's uh, very simple if I can do it it must be simple Yeah, you can you can post it to to YouTube, then edit it from there. But I I edit it before I post it to YouTube, and then it's all ready for when it's uh, when it's gone live. Yeah, you can do it. You can do it. You can do it th that way. This um, what they call it, video manager, isn't there? What they call it. I'm on it now and I can't even think what they call it. <laughs> Creator Studio, that's it. <laughs> God, I'm stupid. Oh dear. So yeah, I've got this um, Lando out. So we're looking at uh, different, different blasters. And Obviously, you've got your Imperial Blaster and your Rebel Blaster, and you think they're they were the most popular, which they are. But the best bin blaster, the best bin blaster, is used by a lot of characters. I've got it written down somewhere, but I'm just going to count them. That's a video I need to do tomorrow. Is the X Wing? So the best bin blaster doesn't t turn up till Empire Strikes Back, obviously, because it's the best bin blaster. But why the Rebel soldiers got it on half, I don't know. So we've got one, Lobot, Han, one, two, three, best bin guard, four, attack commander, five. Uh, da, 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 da. Squid Head, six, which is a grey one. We'll count it anyway, six. I don't think that's it, six. I thought it more than that. But it's just a lot, I just thought it were a lot. You've got Lando, aren't you, as well? I miss Lando. Yeah, Lando, seven. Eight, sorry. Yeah. I missed I miss Lando and the other best bin guard. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. Eight best bin blasters. It's not. They're they're pretty cheap. They're, they're a lot cheaper than the uh, uh, well, the Rebel Blasters quite expensive now. You should load it and then to the picture. Yeah. Yeah, he's there. Uh, he's got his thumbnail sword. They're, they're pretty good. Yeah, you just, you drag your, it's like, on my video today, I put pictures in of just like stock photos of the car, of the boxed cars, and I just got to drag the picture into the, into where you're editing, put it on top, obviously edit it down, move it, you can, this like, you can fit it to screen, have it move, moving across, uh, and then you just 
narrow it down to where you want to put it you move it to where you want to put it and then when you've got it on your on your screen you just move it to where you where you want to put it in the in the screen so you're not it's not over your face or you can put it in top corner so it's quite easy it's quite easy to do what do you use Cbolink Cbolink movie maker and that you have to import the still image and then drag it and drop into the yeah that's what I do that's what it's basically what I do you drop it into timeline where you want to put it and then you move it about on the on the uh, on the video itself so yeah I'm not going to count how many rebel blasters there <laughs> could be there I'll bloody night I did, I've got it all written down somewhere. So yeah. So how's everybody doing then? I say I'm feeling absolutely shocking today. But uh, that's one of them things, isn't it? Gotta get over it. How you going, John? You're gonna have some lunch. Alright mate, thanks for thanks for joining. And uh hope you'll be back tomorrow. If I'm if I'm up to <laughs> I will be. Yeah, I'll uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks John. So right. I think I'm gonna have an early night tonight to be honest with you. Um throat's out in a bit. So you know what else you want to ask before I go? How do you put words in your thumbnails? Any free apps for Windows? Uh, I don't know about Windows, but um, they're all in iMovies for me. I mean, I would I were talking about um, the steaks to cook. Oh, jammy sod. Man, it's, it's 20 past 7 here, so it's only, was it 20 past 2 there? Uh, Updated my settings. Um, what we're what I'm talking about? I've got words. Uh, put words in your thumbnails. Why do what I do with me for my thumbnails is I use what we call Pixelmator. It's not it's not Windows though, so I don't know. Um, that's those are all my thumbnails. I've bloody got loads of them. And you just like get a template, resize it to the proper size, and just add stuff in. Add the pictures in. There's pictures, there's layers, text. So you just I just go to text and I the put the text in. That's uh, that's how I do it for my thumbnails. Um I was messing about looking for, for things the other night and I found Intro Maker. This is on iOS, so I don't know if they're on Android as well. Uh, Kind Kind Master, which I don't. I've used the the Intro Maker just for the, if you saw the top five iconic toys, I had the numbers coming down. So that's you can, all these different intros that you can put in. They're like templates, but there's like there's end end ones as well. Things for end of your videos as well. So I just it's just a matter of just searching through Google Play that you use. So yeah, I was just um, wondering to look for there you go. Oh, Adverts. I'm not paying for it. <laughs> so what you do is you've got all your different effects. And you just mess about with it, and there's the, there's the, um, you got your sound, your sticky text. So you press your text, so that's there. And you just put whatever text you want in. But that's for um, transitions that I use that for. It's basically same. Basically same. You had to pay to get the 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 watermark off it, but what did you? I just put a subscribe 
over it, so you can't, you're going to see it anyway. So I didn't pay for it, I'm a tight bugger. There you go, pic pixel.com, free editor. Cheers, John. See you tomorrow. Enjoy your steaks. <laughs> right, yeah, I'm going. I'm going. Uh, I hope you'll join me tomorrow at 6 o'clock. I'm going to be doing this every day now. Um, it's going to be a bit of a short, shorter one tonight. But um, I appreciate all you, all you all coming. Um, bring loads of questions tomorrow. Bring loads more friends. Share it out, please. And um, I'm going to try and share it out a bit more. I tried to share it out a bit more today, but uh, I, would, I, would, I think I went up to five, five watching, which is good. It's good for me. I don't mind. I, I, even if I've just got one person to talk to, that's just fantastic. And if I help one person, I'm pleased with myself. So there you go. I'll see you all tomorrow at 6 o'clock. Uh, watch out for my videos. Please press that bell so you know I'm going to be live because YouTube's not sending out notifications. Press that bell, please, when you subscribe so you, you can see my videos coming out as well. Uh, I think I'll be putting a video out tomorrow morning. Uh, I'll be doing my X-Wing. Um, I've got a couple of things lined up that I'm thinking about. So there you go. I'm going to stop waffling out on now and I'm going to say, may the toys be with you. <laughs>